My name is Rodney Allen. I'm one of the inventors of the, the Net Power Allen Cycle System. Everybody is anxious to preserve the climate and preserve the environment, and it's one of the most pressing issues globally is to get sustainable use of energy in the future. So net power is a new type of power cycle that uses a carbon-based fuel but inherently captures all of the carbon dioxide emissions. We use CO2 as our working fluid. Uh, when CO2 is at very high temperatures and pressures, it exhibits very special properties that allow you to make a very efficient power cycle. Net Power's demonstration facility is in Laporte, Texas. There we have about a five acre site, and at the moment we have representatives that are all collaborating and working together to bring this technology to market. Back when we first created this technology, people looked at us like we were nuts, like it was too good to be true. We have a giant CO2 heat pump that we tested here outside of Houston, Texas. The summer of 2018, we lit it and it worked and the world realized things changed. I'm Brian Murray, I'm the director of the Duke University Energy Initiative. You know, I've seen a lot of other power plants in the world and they, you, you have this image of what one looks like and this looks like something completely different. The problem is not fossil fuels, it's disposal is the problem. It's putting it in the right place. We make sure that the CO2 is valuable not value less, because it has no value right now, it's very easy to vent it to the air. But by creating value for that CO2, it makes it irrational to throw it away. It makes it totally rational to capture it and to use it. So net power could be a game changer by essentially lowering, if not eliminating, the trade-offs between low cost and clean. If it can produce electricity at a cheaper cost than the uh, incumbent technologies, natural gas combined cycle, coal, nuclear, then the market is going to drive it towards that. And if the market drives it towards that and it's produced this significantly cleaner form of electricity, that's going to be the kind of thing that isn't going to require big policy imperatives from Washington or for state capitals. The market can drive it and that ultimately is their hope.